Okay. Today is Sunday the 5th of March, meaning that tomorrow is Monday 6th of March, aka the first Monday of the month of March. And you know what happens in two months? In two months, it's going to be the month of May. And you know what happens the first Monday of May? The Met Gala! That was a very long intro to explain the Met Gala. But if you don't know what the Met Gala is, it's like the Super Bowl of fashion, uh, which is a big night for fashion and art in general. Today, we're just gonna sketch my Met Gala dress if I were to be invited to the Met Gala. I suck at drawing. An example. Yeah. But today, it's gonna be fun. I hope so. <laughs> so this year's Met Gala theme is in honor of the fashion designer Carla Gaffel who passed away in 2019. Chief editor or the editor-in-chief? Well, the boss of Vogue, Anna Wintour, and Carla Gaffel were very close. So it made sense that she would make a theme in honor of her friend. Yeah, so Anna Wintour is in charge of the Met Gala. But it has been, the Met Gala existed for years, way before Anna Wintour was editor-in-chief at Vogue. But Anna did a really, really, really great job at making this event very talked about around the world, through social media, through the press, na 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 So she did a really great job at that. Also, since the last couple of years, no one has really been on theme. Last year, I forgot what it was. It was it was Gilded Age. The public were really mad that the star like the guests didn't really weren't really on theme. So it's gonna be very interesting with what's going to happen this year. Okay, this is what I think. So Ga Carla Gaffel was we mainly know him for um, Chanel and his own brand Carla Gaffel, but he also used to um, be the designer, the creative director of Fendi. Patou, Chloe, and I think that's it. But what I think it's going to happen is either <laughs> either people are going to get like go to the archive and like bring like wear his old works, which is totally fine. Either the last look, usually with Chanel, the last look is the bride bride, bride meets dress. Um, I'll put like some examples here and I think some of the people might go that route so that would be nice and if it's not within I don't think I don't know which brand are allowed to come and which are not but I do think that the per like the other brands that are not within like Calag Israel's history you might get inspired by the archives or the bride maids dress and and I really hope it doesn't happen, but I feel like, especially men, they might do like a Halloween costume and try to recreate what Kala Gefell would wear. The costume, the black costume, with the sunglasses. And you know who I think might do the sunglasses? Like the, like just a tuxedo with sunglasses? Jack Harlow. Did I lie? No. I, he looks like the type of person who would do like a copy, like a costume of Karl Lagerfeld but he wouldn't go with the white hair because it would be like too, too extreme but I know for a fact that he's gonna wear sunglasses for the Met Gala and if he doesn't wear sunglasses it's because he saw this video and was like oh yeah I shouldn't and he's not gonna wear it <laughs> Jack Harlow is very predictable with his fashion sense so either way I'm gonna be right so okay I haven't started sketching anything Okay, I think the first part is like to do the silhouette, which I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna show you an example how usually a uh, fashion illustration should go. I don't know. I'm not even looking at anything. This is really on top of my head. I'm gonna go with the bridesmaid route and really, because I feel like it's gonna be simple, but I don't wanna, like, you know, be like a woo. I just wanna be like blending in. Not I wasn't I wasn't the worst, but I wasn't the best, you know. It will be my first Met Gala. Okay, so I think I need to start with the face. How is my face like? Mm. You know, sometimes when you look online and they're like, "What is your face shape?" 
I never know what it is. Oh my god, that's a really nice head. Like, that's a nice... That's nice. But I don't know if it's me. <laughs> and, I, and I know that sometimes you do like something like this. I'm going to do it like this. So you can see well. Something like this. <laughs> it's like a straight line. And then they like do like this. <laughs> this is awful. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, let me try to do it. Oh my god, how are, how are they doing it? Uh, I think it's like something like this. Wait, why am I too broad? That is not me. Your shoulders are like three times your head. It's like one, two, three. Okay. Okay. And I think I'm gonna do like one hand like this. <laughs> and then the other like this. I think that's good, right? You can roast me, it's fine. Legs. How do you do your legs? Mm. I think that's how we're gonna do. So there's a big gap here because I don't know what to do. But hey, um, whew, that is so much harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, um, mm. so I think what I would like to wear is just like a simple white dress. And then, I don't know if I want to have a veil. Ooh, like a crown with a veil. Or just like a cape that is kind of a veil. Because you know the thing with fashion, it's like you take something old and try to modernize it. And that's really nice. And I think I really want people to experience with texture. Like leather, like white leather. Ooh, that would be nice. Or, oh my god, you know what I think? I feel like, you know, last year's... Um, Coperni, the spray on dress with Bedadi. I have a feeling that someone's gonna do it. Like, it's gonna be sprayed on. Something with texture like this, I think someone's gonna do it. I think something a bit like more, mm, something like this, or something more modest and conservative. Well, let's, let's be risky. <laughs> okay, it's going well, it's going well. Guys, it's actually going well. It's actually going well. Ooh, do you think I don't think people are gonna go with feathers? I don't think so. Oh I don't know. As for the guest list, Iman Chevalin is gonna be there, obviously. Um I really want that I Spice is going to be invited and Julia Fox also. I think if they're not there, it's because they couldn't attend. Like they had some, they had other plans, therefore they couldn't be at the Megala. But if they if they are at the Megala, I think they're not gonna go with the theme and just do something completely different that is very true to their style. And people wouldn't be mad. People would be like, oh, they didn't follow the theme, but they slayed. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The reason why I really want to go to the Megala is because I am nosy. I want to know what people are doing inside. You know, what are they talking about? Who do they hang out with? Camera, like if their cameras are not there, are they that different from when they are on, in front of the camera? You know, I am so delusional. I really think that I'm going to be invited someday to the Megala. It could be this year, it could be next year, or it could be in 10 years. But I still think that someday I am going to go to the Megala. Well, you know what, maybe not this year because <laughs> I feel like I'm on the Vogue's blacklist because Story time, okay. Uh, last year, there was this event um, in London for... It was a conference, so they had some in, in New York and some in London. And in New York, it was... I think it was like less than $100 US for the conference event. So I was like, okay, so it, it, it shouldn't be that expensive for the one in London. It was like 300 pounds. And it was just one event. One event, 300 pounds. Are you kidding me? And then I was like, that is not like, who, what kind of student can afford this? Not me. If I can afford it. So it's only like the very like rich kids that can afford it, which is really sad. And it's a shame that um, the fashion industry is, they make it, I feel like the fashion industry sometimes make it seem like they are being very open-minded and like any, everyone is welcome but they're still being very selective as to what is open and what is kept private 
so that sucks and I sent them an email like to the customer service because they were they had really amazing guest speakers but 300 pounds that is not in my budget and you could be like well you could you can go to a concert and I mean I would rather spend 300 pounds on a festival like a three-day festival and see multiple artists but for one one evening of a couple hours and even the one in New York had way more guest speakers and it was still 100 pounds something like 100 US dollars let me tell you what 300 pound is first of all in US dollars it's already 360 US dollars and that's almost 500 Canadian dollars I don't have that money to be like like that's who does that okay so this is what I said dear I hope you find this email well I was interested in attending the like Vogue event in London this year. To my surprise, I noticed that the tickets for students was listed at 300 pounds. I find it unfortunate that students who are talented and passionate about the fashion industry cannot attend this event due to the costly tickets. This reinforces the class division and elitism of the fashion industry by the fact that only those with the financial means can participate in these events. I hope you will give this matter serious consideration and urge you to act decisively. Best regards, Advent Josephine. They left me undelivered. Oh, they never replied. They did not reply. I th I don't know, like, maybe I didn't formulate it too well, but I, I feel like this discussion about fashion and who's able to attend, even like the past couple years with influencers attending fashion shows, there was this song of, is it like, right, is it okay, is it not okay, should we, should we not? I, I feel like some people, people are scared that if we invite everyone, then fashion is not cool anymore but I don't know like I don't know what do you guys think so that's why I think I am on a year band and I wouldn't be attending the Met Gala this year <laughs> so maybe Met Gala 2024 once the blacklist ban is cleared up maybe there's not even a, a blacklist and I'm just overthinking this so maybe this year I could but it's like too close too close to the date so I would be panicking and yeah, maybe next year. Maybe next year. We don't know. Okay, so it's not bad. I don't know if I would have like a slit like here. How do you draw? How do you draw like? Oh, oh! Did I do it? That looks weird on camera. Um, <laughs> maybe like this. I don't know. How do you? People who are that creative, I don't know how you do this. Okay. And then I said like the cape. Do I want do I want a crown veil or a cape? Ooh! Sorry, that was so I also think that 3D florals, because they're already in for 2023, so I think that could also be a thing. And oh my god, oh my god guys, I have an idea. So I have no, you know what? I don't have a slit. I have the full dress, I have the dress, right? And then, as the cape, I don't know, how do you draw a cape? Hmm. How do you draw a cape? Draw a cape, what the heck? See, this is why, this is not for me. I, I prefer more the legal side and intellectual property and probably attend fashion shows for fun. That's what I like. But drawing, mm -mm, not for me. Um, okay, I'll just do like a, a back view here, like here. I'll just do the back view. Oh, I didn't even think about my hair. It's too difficult. A TikTok repost on Instagram because I don't have TikTok. But it was Kylie Jenner sitting next to Anna Wintour and she was just staring at her glasses. And people were saying, oh yeah, Anna Wintour is so scary, na 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 I don't know, I, 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 think, I feel like I would just talk to her. If it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. And if it goes well, it goes well, right? But I would just have to talk to her. If I if I saw her on the street, I'm like, oh, and bonjour. Well, not bonjour. Hi. Um, oh, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Hi, I really appreciate your contribution to the fashion industry. And yeah, I just wanted to say thank you. And hope you have a nice day. It's as simple as that. And it's just like, who the fuck are you? Well, okay. And she's like, oh, thank you so much. That's really nice. Great, you know? But either way, I just went with it. Me, and maybe in her eyes, like, I wish more people talk to me. You know, you never know what they're thinking. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this is the back view. I think I would have, like, a cape. Right? And then I would have... Oh, yeah. My entire dress is, like, 
Ooh, do I want it white or like off-white, like a little bit creamy? Maybe like a little off-white, like same thing with the cape. The cape also a little off-white. Getting too excited about this. Okay, I would have 3D dread like 3D uh, flowers on to on the dread on the, on the cape. That would be so cute. Oh my god, yes, yes, I love it. I love it. So like, oh, how do you dress it? How do you draw a flower? Like roses? Is it like rose a normal wedding floral? Like a no wedding? Mm. I don't know. Like, oh, that looks weird. Okay, it's fine. Who am I exciting to see at the Met Gala? I don't know. I feel like Versace has the best designs ever for the Met Gala. They never disappoint. I really hope more men are being more experimental with their fashion. Do you think Central C would be invited? I don't think he would be invited. I don't think Anna Wintour would. Not just yet. Not just yet. Or maybe he would. I don't know. These are the dress, like these are the flowers, and the flowers are also like little off white. So it's like all like an all white dress, but like these are like three D, so like they're it's like a three D texture, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I really like this dress. And then for my hair, I'm gonna show you a picture, but it's like two big braids like this. It 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 makes it like a crown, and that's so pretty. And maybe I could add little flowers on my hair ooh that would be so cute and then my makeup I would just do it natural like this like I'm doing today yeah so I think that's nice oh the shoes what type of shoes I don't like wearing heels I don't know how to wear heels so I would have like a little like little tiny heel or just I don't think I would have flat no maybe like a little heel I think that's my Met Gala dress something real simple nice elegant oh i didn't even think of the necklaces oh my god and the earrings oh my god this is too complicated um you know what i don't think i would have a necklace wait i didn't even put a neck on the girl's <laughs> <laughs> oh my god she would be so neck okay here's her neck um would i put a neck would i put a necklace like a big cartier like cartier like neck no something simple no nothing nothing she's like this and then for the earrings something probably like dangly oh <gasps> ooh, like something like this because my hair is gonna be like in a like a sort of crown I think I'm really happy with this and yeah that's really nice I can't wait to see what the Megala is up to um it's gonna be in two months and I went to if you want to send me a last-minute invite I'm more than happy to attend and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.